Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, enter the device template values using a CSV file. In my previous videos I have showed you, uh, you know, when you attach a device template to uh, the V edges while attaching and applying them, uh, we enter the VPN um, interface IP addresses, nestop IP addresses manually. Uh, in this video I will show you how to do that using the CSV file. So this is the topology I have for this video. I have uh, the controllers in the top. I have VH1, VH2, VH3 and 4 and also I have uh, VH22. So in this lab we will uh, attach uh, one common device template to VH1, 2, 3 and VH22 and uh, while we, we need to enter these uh, WAN IPs, this uh, service VPN IPs uh, you know using the CSV file. This is my uh, vManage dashboard. Let's go to the devices. So you can see in the top I have four uh, VH cloud. I have uh, VH 1, 2, 3 and 22 as we saw in the topology. And you can see all four of them in uh, CLI mode. And right now there is no uh, device template attached to them. I have created a device template. Let's go to the templates. So I have this template all VHS new template. Uh, right now it is not attached to any devices. I will show you how to attach to all four devices at the same time. The right side you have these three dots. Just click that and click on attach devices. And that we have to select VH1, 2, 22 and VH3. So all four of them I'm going to attach the same device template. I'm going to click on attach. So now you can see in the left side all uh, grayed out because uh, the details are not entered. So usually we go to this uh, right side three dots click edit device template and we enter all the interface name desktop IP addresses uh, manually. So if you have like three four devices you can one by one manually you can do. Let's say you have like you have to do it for like some 100 200 uh, VHS. It will be uh, difficult to do it manually. In that case uh, we have to use this uh, CSV file. So to upload the uh, the variables, the interface IPs, nestop IP addresses, all this information you can see it's all empty here. Uh, like nestop IP interface name, interface IP addresses. If you want to enter those detail uh, using the CSV uh, file, you have to click on this download button. You can see the template.csv file getting downloaded. Okay, so now if you see uh, it starts with the uh, device ID that is nothing but your uh, serial number for each device for VH2, VH1 you can see a unique uh, chassis number is there. So that will be your device ID and uh, the system ID the host name I already entered while I onboarded using the CLI so it is already there otherwise it won't be there you have to enter that manually and um, you can see VPN 10 interface name. This is the physical interface name that we have to enter here for VH2 and you can see the next option uh, VPN 10 interface name interface for this particular interface name whatever I given here that the entry for uh, IP address should be entered here. Same thing. Um, so this is uh, VPN 512 uh, default root uh, nest of IP address. So whatever nest of IP address we need to enter, we have to enter here. And VPN 512 interface name, VPN 512 interface name and for the particular interface name whatever we entered here, corresponding IP address should be entered here. And then we have, uh, this is for a VPN 0, VPN 0 nest of IP address. And then uh, VPN 0 interface name, the physical interface name. And then um, for the particular uh, physical interface name, corresponding IP address should be given here. So let's start uh, entering the values for uh, VH2, starting with uh, VPN 10 interface name. So if I check in the CLI for VH2, uh, show interface pipe tab, 
the LAN interface, VPN 10 interface is Gigi 0 slash 1. So I will give here Gigi 0 slash 1. That is the interface name and uh, the IP address is, is this one. 192.168.20.1 Put it here Then I come into VPN uh, 512 So VPN 512, uh, this table is for the uh, nest top IP address that I have given already And then VPN 512 interface number Interface number for 512. This is ETH0. And then the uh, VPN 512 interface name, IP address. IP address is this one. You have to put it including the slash notation, slash 24. And then we come to VPN0, nest of IP address. So if you see the topology, the VPN0 IP is 3030.1.2 uh, slash 30. The next up IP will be 3030.1.1. So that will be 3030.1.1. So next up IP address, so I'm not giving any slash. And then the interface name. Interface name, we can get it from here, gigi0 slash 0. Then have the interface IP address. Interface IP address, you can see 3030.1.2 slash 30. So the system I, system name, this is the host name. And uh, the system ID, system IP, everything is already there because I already onboarded it using CLI, so it taken from that. If you are not onboarded using CLI, these entries will be empty and you have to enter that manually. So I am going to stop the video and going to enter all the other uh, VHS details here. So I have entered all the uh, interface name, IP addresses for all the uh, VHS that we are going to apply the CSV file. You can just quickly confirm the same uh, from the topology also. So that for VH, uh, VH2, uh, the VPN0 interface IP is like 4040.1.1. .1. That is the nest top IP, which is this one, 4040.1.1. .1. Then we have VH1, that is 3030.1.1, 5050.1.1 .1 for VH3, and 4240.1.1, .1, that is for uh, your uh, VH22. Same with the uh, interface IP also. We can confirm here 4040.1.2 for VH2, 3030.1.2 for VH1, 5050.1.2 that is for uh, VH3, 4240.1.2 that is the VAN VPN0 uh, interface IP address for VH22. So we have to make sure all the uh, fields are entered here. Interface names and everything we can just quickly verify. We can just save it. So in the CSV uh, file, if you see in the top, uh, whatever values that you kept empty when you're creating the device template and feature template, only those values will be entered here. So for each device template, uh, the CSV uh, file uh, variables, the parameters might be different. So we have to keep that in mind. So now we will go back to our vManage. You can see the left side still grayed out because the entries are not there. I'm going to click this uh, upload button and uh, download that uh, CSV file that we just created. So here you can see upload CSV file. You have to click on choose file and then upload the, the template that we just created and entered all the details. So this is the file I have chosen, template.csv. You can see it's in a CSV format. You can click on upload just got uploaded. So once I click on upload, you can see uh, all the uh, device uh, parameters has been entered, which you can see here itself, the interface uh, IP address, the nest top IP address, interface name, everything is entered now. And you can see in the left side, everything uh, in green, in tick mark. So we can just click on nest. 
you can see uh, this device template all we are just new is going to get applied on VH2, 1, 3 and 22. So when I click configure it will start pushing it. Committing this config changes. It's going to get applied on four devices. That's what it's saying. I click on confirm. Okay. So it is scheduled now. So it's in progress for all the four VH uh, devices. So the current state you can see the pre-checks on vManager have paused. Continue with uh, pushing configuration to the devices. Okay. Now we can see uh, it's completed pushing to all the devices all four devices you can see it's success now and one thing I wanted to tell is like uh, so like I said earlier uh, we were able to see the host names uh, corresponding to these um, device IDs or chassis number or serial number uh, because I already onboarded them so it is matching um, there are scenarios which where uh, the particular uh, serial number is not onboarded or mapped to a particular uh, VH let's say for example this all these four devices I'm onboarding for the first time you won't see this host name it will be empty you have to go to vManage check on uh, these devices you have to select uh, uh, for which chassis number what is the particular device that you are going to uh, enter these values and you have to give the name and uh, all the other IP addresses accordingly so that uh, you want to keep in mind so now we can go to the vManage and we can just quickly confirm whether uh, all the VHS are showing vManage mode. Yeah, you can see VH1, 2, 3 and 22. It's all in vManage mode and it's all assigned uh, with a template, all VHS new template. So that's the procedure how to, um, you know, uh, enter the uh, the device template uh, parameters and its values uh, using a, a CSV file. And uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, to this channel and also share with your friends.